video tutorial, you are going to see how to perform a chi-square test for association. So here, there will be two categorical variables. So one will be the independent variable and another will be the dependent variable. So you would like to find out whether there is an, any significant association between these two categorical variables. So in this chi-square test, the null hypothesis is there is no association between the two categorical variables. So the p will be greater than 0.05. If uh, you are favoring the alternative hypothesis, the alternative hypothesis is there is an association between the two categorical variables and the p value will be less than 0.05. So now let us see how to perform the chi-square test and to find out the p value and find out whether there is any association between the two categorical variable. So for this first let us import a data set from excel. So click data import data set and click from excel. Then click browse. Then find out where is your data set. So I am going to open a practice data set which I have called chi-square. So it shows the preview. So it has three variables, gender, the year of study and knowledge. So all are categorical variables. So here the hypothesis, there is a difference between uh, the knowledge with the gender as well as the year of study. Okay, so let us perform a, a chi-square test and find out our hypothesis, whether it is uh, favoring the null hypothesis or alternative hypothesis. So this is the data. Now I am going to click import. Now uh, this data set is in a coded form. So normally when we prepare Excel sheet, you have to prepare the categorical data in the form of codes, not in the form of string or characters. So now you have imported this coded data sheet. Now you have to convert this codes into the categorical data. So now let us compare uh, the gender with the knowledge. So we will convert the gender as well as the knowledge into the categorical data. The codes should be converted into a categorical data. So now we will come back to the script window. So uh, we actually plan to convert gender and knowledge into categorical data. So first, we shall convert the gender into a categorical variable. So for that, we have to type the variable name. So variable name is in the data called chi-square. So I will first select the chi-square. Then I have to click the dollar symbol. Then I will select the variable. So now you have uh, typed your variable name that has to be converted into a categorical variable. So now you have to click the gets symbol. It's nothing but uh, we have to click the lesser than symbol with the hyphen. So the gender variable gets. Now you have to use a function called factor to convert this as a categorical variable. Here you can see once you start to type, it shows factor. Click this. Okay, now you have to type some arguments to convert this into a categorical variable. The first argument will be the name of the variable. So again, I have to type the name of the variable which is present in the chi-square data. So click the dollar symbol, then your data is being entered. Next, you have to tell uh, whether, uh, I mean, how many levels are there? So here, as far as the gender is concerned, only two levels are there, one and two, that is male and female. So you have to now tell how many levels are there. So start to type level, then you can see levels in the factor. Okay, now my level is one and two. So what I can do is one colon two. It means one to two. Okay, then comma. Now we have to tell what is 1 and what is 2, label. We have to label 1 and 2. So we have to again type another argument called labels. So once you start to type, it will appear. Okay. Now there are 
two levels one and two so you have to combine this names male and female so i have to use a function called small c then open bracket you have to click okay automatically the close bracket will appear now i have to i have to label the one and two the first label one is male so what i have to do i have to click the quote and click male then come out from the code and then put comma then inverted code then female okay now you can click the run okay i'll just uh, repeat what i have done i have entered the name of the variable that has to be converted into a categorical variable then get symbol then i have chosen a function called factor under which three arguments the first argument is the name of the variable then the levels i have to tell how many levels are there so it is one and two then i have to label the levels i have labeled it as male and female then you have to click run but you have to be very careful uh, all the comma and also the inverted code are all very very important if you miss anything your uh, program will not run it will show error okay so you have to check thoroughly whether you have entered everything correct then click run okay now let us check <coughs> yes it has been now converted into a categorical variable now knowledge also will convert into a categorical variable so same program okay chi square knowledge so gets then factor then chi square dollar knowledge so enter the data then levels okay now the levels are one two four so one colon four now labels yes then i am going to combine the names so c open bracket okay now the one stands for poor two stands for average three stands for good and four stands for excellent the knowledge levels okay so i'm going to label it so in in quotes uh first one is poor so i'm just typing poor and coming out comma then again quotes average coming out and putting a comma then quotes good coming out comma quotes then excellent okay now i'm running this and then checking the file okay now gender and knowledge okay so they have now got converted into a categorical variable so it is very very important to convert this course into categorical variable before performing the chi square test okay now we'll go into the important aspect how to do a chi square test okay so for this we need a package so first we have to install the package and then we have to activate the package and then you have to perform the test so the name of the package is sj plot so we have to go to the tools you have to click the tools install package so here you have to search for sj plot okay here you can see sj plot click sj plot and click install so wait uh, until the package gets installed Yeah, the package is getting installed it's a very big package well let us wait until the package gets fully installed
okay now uh, we have to activate this sj plot okay so for that we have to use a function called library and then sj plot so i am activating this and, and then i am clicking run okay now this package is activated okay now uh, we have to now operate the function under this sj plot to perform the chi square test okay so the function name is tab underscore x tab okay so here you can see tab underscore x tab under the sj plot okay now we have to enter the uh variables the arguments of course the arguments so the first argument so you have to give what is row and what is column in in your uh, cross tabulation to perform the chi square okay so row will be always uh, uh, entered with the independent variable and column will be the dependent variable so the argument name to give the name of the variable that has to be entered into the row is var var dot row okay so that is under the tab right so var dot row here you have to give your variable name so that variable is in the file called chi square okay in the data so chi square then okay so here the independent variable is gender so i am entering the gender in the row in the cross tabulation okay so i have given that argument uh, variable dot row that is var dot row okay now i have to give what is to be en uh, entered into the column so again var dot column okay col so this uh, again we have to enter the variable name in the data so first we have to enter the data name that is chi square then dollar symbol knowledge okay now i have told what uh, variable should be in the row and what variable should be in the column okay so next is i have to give a title for my table in that case i have to type title okay so title under this function yes i have to give a title inverted quote okay so knowledge level versus gender okay so i'll give this title right so then come out and give i mean type comma then i want to show the row percentage so always you have to include a row percentage easy for us to compare and you can argue why your two variables are associated or not associated so always it is wise enough to add the row percentage so for that you have to type an argument show dot row dot percentage okay once you start to type see it automatically comes okay so now this you have to type as true true okay so now i'll repeat again i have chosen a, a function called tab underscore x tab from the package called sj plot okay now i have to enter the uh, variable that has to be filled in the row for that i am uh, using a argument called var dot row okay and i am entering the variable name that is present in the chi square data then column i am putting the knowledge okay always see to that the row is filled with the independent variable and the column contains the dependent variable then i am giving title to my table the cross tabulation and i am going to also type row percentage to be shown okay so show row percentage that has to be entered as true so now uh, i am going to run this program okay so here you can see right so uh, it has developed a nice cross tabulation with the row percentages okay so comparing the gender with their knowledge 
So here to observe the p-value, you can come down here uh, by default, it has performed Fisher's test as some of the cells contain uh, the values less than five. Automatically, it will do a Fisher's test. So the p-value is uh, uh, 0 0.021. So it means that it is uh, less than 0.05. So it favors the alternative hypothesis. The alternative hypothesis is that uh, there is an association between the gender and the knowledge level. So it means that the gender influences the knowledge level. So uh, this is the way how to perform uh, the chi-square with the help of the SJ plot package and uh, to interpret the results.